Prologue. Three Houses. Deep in the forest, the mercenary meets a trio of youths, each a student at Gehrig Mach's Officer's Academy and a leader of one of the school's three houses. Striking down the bandit chief who attacked the students brings undue attention to the mercenary, who soon arrives at the hallowed gates of Gehrig Mach. And with that, may I present the mercenary I spoke of. Greetings. My name is Rhea, and I am the Archbishop of the Church of Seros. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for rescuing our students. I'm just glad I could help. Such modesty is not required around me. Your actions were truly commendable. However, the reason we summoned you here was not simply to express our gratitude. We have a proposal for you. One made on behalf of the Church itself. What kind of proposal? Someone told you of the Officer's Academy here at the Monastery, yes? We would have you join this Academy as a student. You what? Though you are a mercenary, I understand you are not currently beholden to any one particular employer. Also, the students you rescued are close to your own age. Your life could be greatly enriched here. Or she's heard about our power and wants to keep us on a short leash. And yet she's taking it almost as a given that we'll accept. It's infuriating. I need to get stronger if I'm going to do what I need to. If your fancy school can really make that happen, consider me interested. The Knights of Seros, as well as many other powerful warriors, pass daily through the gates of this hallowed monastery. If strength is what you are after, we can certainly provide it in spades. They've really talked us into a corner here. I think I see where this is going. I'm in. A wise decision. We will do all we can to ensure you do not regret it. I believe you will go far. If I may, permit me to tell you a bit more about the school itself. The academy is divided into three houses and draws in the most promising young talents from every corner of Fodlan. Some are noble while others spring from more humble roots. But within these walls, all are treated as equals. We ask our prospects to spend a year living under the same dormitory roof so they can challenge each other, work hard, and grow together. Each of our houses corresponds to one of Fodlin's three regions. Edelgard leads the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Dimitri leads the Blue Lion House, home to students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And Claude leads the Golden Deer House, for students from the Leicester Alliance. We could select a house for you ourselves, but as all of this was our idea, perhaps we should leave this decision to you. You are something of a special case, after all. So I can join any house I want? Yes, you have simply to name it. So you wish to join Dimitri's Blue Lions. Are you certain? Yep, 
That's the one. I'm sure of it. May you build wonderful and lasting friendships in your new house. Well then, with that taken care of, it's time to decide which of us will supervise which house. Yes, it turns out we just underwent a last-minute roster change. I guess you two haven't met. This is Professor Yuritsa, our weapons instructor. Hello. I can already tell I'm gonna learn a lot from you. Will you now? Do my ears deceive me? Or is that curiosity I hear in your voice, Professor Yuritsa? I thought all the houses were the same to you. Perhaps you should be in charge of our new student's house, hmm? I don't care. You decide. Well, you'll certainly hear no objections from me. Professor Manuel, you and I can take charge of the remaining houses. What? It's decided already? I was at least expecting a fight. Maybe some hair pulling? And as for you, my mysterious new student, I look forward to getting to know you much, much better throughout the year. The gall of these people making decisions for you. It's enough to make one's head spin. Uh, right. In any case, I'm looking forward to learning from you, Professor Yuritsa. I'll inform you of our first mission soon. Sorry, what mission? Oh, did we fail to mention that? Each month, every house in the academy is given a mission entailing some form of service to the church. Professor Yuritsa told me the good news. Welcome to the Blue Lion House. I'm excited for us to learn and grow together. But for now, please, make yourself at home. Our whole house has been buzzing since we heard you were getting assigned here. So we're going to treat you to a welcome feast tonight. <laughs> Assuming you're okay with the fancy offerings at the dining hall, that is. You saved His Highness's life. That means the whole kingdom owes you one. And I can't think of a better way to get to know each other than gathering around the table for a meal. Enough chatter. You're a mercenary, right? How's your swordsmanship? You must have some skill if the boar here give you passing marks. But I won't know for sure until we cross blades at the training grounds. I'll see you there before dinner. That's no way to talk, Felix. You are being rude. Still, I must admit I'm curious as well. Rumor has it you're quite the exceptional fighter. I'm happy to spar with any of you. Frankly, this brings me right back to my old Merc buddies. Trade blows if you must, but please try not to injure each other. The training grounds can be a little tough to find. Oh, why don't I show you the way later? Trust me, I'm speaking from experience. One wrong turn and you're up in the library staring down the tallest stack of books you've ever seen. Yes, this is the largest monastery in Fodlan, so it's easy to get lost if you let your mind wander. If you struggle to settle in, say so. You helped His Highness. We are in your debt. Remember your mission? We are to stamp out what's left of the Iron King's Thieves. If I may, Professor, it seems a bit challenging for a first mission. But their leader, Costas, has already been dealt with. If the Professor thinks us capable of mopping up the rest, I trust his judgment. Good. Prepare yourself.
Of course, Prof... Oh, he's gone. Professor Yuritsa isn't much of a talker. Or easy to talk to, for that matter. I'm certain you'll get used to him. He may be a touch curt, but he's not a bad person at heart. Still, bandit hunting right out of the gate? This is quite the mission. After the events in the mountains, I hesitate to put His Highness in further danger. You worry too much to do. Besides, we have a trustworthy new ally coming with us. We should proceed with caution, though if we keep our heads on straight, there's nothing to be afraid of. Well said. Your Highness, stay close. Don't bother to do. You could grab this soup for brains by the scruff and he'd still squirm loose and charge headlong into battle. Whatever the case, we should be doubly prepared. And we'll be counting on our mercenary friend here to assist us. I won't let you down. There you are, Yuritsa. I have word from the knights. It is time. Yes. The bandits have fled north into the canyon bordering Count Rose land in the kingdom. But the knights have cut off their escape, and now stand ready to provide whatever support the students may require. We'll leave at once. I needn't remind you this is the first real battle for some of our charges. I trust you will keep them safe, though I likely do not need to worry with an old hand like you at their side. No, you don't. You there, it's time for the mission. Gather the others. About time we saw some action. Lost sight of them? Ashamed to admit it, but yes. It's possible someone magicked the bandits away. But why go to that kind of trouble for a handful of highwaymen scum? So be it. We'll follow the blood scent. Right, of course. We'll follow... Wait, what? We're leaving. Everyone, follow me! Professor Yuritsa, where are you going? Well, he must have deduced where the bandits are. We should keep pace. Pathetic. Professor, it does not seem wise to charge ahead without... Hmm? What's this? From the look of it, they're bandits. Or they were. Dead by my hand. Whoa. Wait, so are these the bad guys we were after? Most likely. I caught them trying to escape to that fortress. Interesting. That must be their stronghold. In that case, we'd better clean the place out before they harm the nearby villages. They've got their tails between their legs now, so this should be easy. Let's go. Whoa there. Doesn't this whole fortress thing raise red flags for anyone else? I agree. If this is their stronghold, why are there no signs of life? It could be a trap to lure us in. It's not smart to rush an enemy stronghold when we have no idea what's waiting for us inside. We should hold off for now. I completely agree. I mean, look at the place. It's both dark and creepy. The decision is not ours to make. That's right. We're still on a mission, after all. It's up to Professor Yuritsa. And I say, enter the fortress. Dispatch any bandits you find. 
But isn't it dangerous for us to go by ourselves? There can't be more than a handful. You should have no issue. If need be, I will intervene. Yeah, you sound confident, but I've still got a bad feeling about this. Brace for the worst. No guts, no glory, am I right? Should things go awry, your highness, stay behind me. If things go awry, I will fall back. And I expect the rest of you to do the same. I'm more than ready for this fortress. Let's see if it's ready for me. If the professor's with us, I'm certain we'll be fine. Then it's settled. Stay vigilant, everyone. Bandits to route. Follow me. This is what real battle is like. Yeah. I'm not letting you pass to me. My life depends on it. Now we know who to kill to open the gate. Begin. It's time to move. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. Not a problem. I've got this. <laughs> this place is bigger than I thought. Split up. I pray they find peace in the grave. 
can get it open without one if you want. I'm not exactly proud of that skill, but... Ugh. I was all ready to grab a nice haul from that chest, and now those intruders are all over the thing! I know who has the key. Not a problem. I've got this. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Just allow me. We will proceed. We must strut. Let's begin. It's time to move. Let us crush the defenders. I suppose this isn't exactly a trap, but I still don't know what to expect from where. Again. It's time to move. Not a problem. I've got this. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. You must I shall take the lead. Structure, but very well built. These ruffians are lucky to have such a perfect hideout. 
Control of the fortress. Now, let us have a look around. Search the basement. Something is amiss. Hey, there's a prisoner down here. And she looks like an academy student. Kranya will make us wish we were dead. It's not safe here. We must take the girl and run. Begin. I will be your shield. I'll do my best. I'm a little nerd. Not a problem. I've got this. To the girl. Well, we shook this hornet's nest, so it's on us to keep her safe. Proceed as planned. We must. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. I've got. It. Take a breather. Sorry, I'm slowing you down. The world is still a little wobbly at the moment. Yeah, here it comes. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> Good. 
I'm a little nervous. We will. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Not a problem. I'm here to help. Let's begin. It, Leave this to the me. Last of them. <laughs> We should be safe here. I mean, I hope we are at least. All right. Who came in here and trashed my beautiful stronghold? Hi there. I'm Kranya. But you can just call me the lady that's about to murder you. Or, you know, don't. It's good. So be it. Kill her. Grant them no mercy. about this I've got my turn yeah. you've got any pretty last words lined up now we keep the time not that I'm going to pay attention so you're not going anywhere Monica I have something very special planned for you yeah. we captured. Yeah. Some sort of beast. Get ready, everyone. We have to take it down. Yeah. Attacking force. You'll never defeat it alone. All the numbers in the world won't save you. I am here to aid you. Uh, this is going to be a long now. fight. Its strength fades. Don't let up. Demonic beast? Impossible! Talus isn't going to like this at all. You'll pay for this. You'll all pay! These names are wholly unfamiliar to me. But at least we won the day. I've grown. I think I'm improving. I won't let myself stop here. Go. 
got to keep aiming higher. Hey, new power! All right! I can't wait to test my newfound strength. I'm getting better. This will help everyone out. We should be safe here for the time being. I'm well acquainted with Professor Yuritsa, but the rest of you are this year's Blue Lions, I presume? That's correct. But if I may, how did you come to be wearing our uniform? Also, how do you know Professor Yuritsa? Were you enrolled at the Officers' Academy? She's one of last year's students. A Black Eagle. That would make you our senior, but... What are you doing in a place like this? Well, I was just on the verge of graduation last year when I was kidnapped by the strangest people. In truth, I thought I'd never breathe fresh air again. Thank you for coming when you did. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Monica Von Ox, eldest daughter of the Empire's Baron Ox. Hmm, yes. I think I understand. This all began when the Knights lost sight of the bandits and you gave chase. Afterward, you entered a suspicious fortress and rescued a missing student. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll be sure to smooth things over for you once we're back. Sounds good. But, uh, why are you even here, Alois? Because the Knights sent for help after you left them behind. Did you expect anything different? Not that I'm trying to lay blame at your feet. I know you were following Professor Yuritsa's lead, so I think everyone involved can head home knowing they did just swell. For as you know, all swell that ends swell. <sighs> Still, I find this a rather grave turn of events. To think the same bandits who attacked our charges were behind another student's abduction. I never said I was kidnapped by bandits. You... you didn't? We saw others in the fortress. People who were clearly not bandits. This is just a thought. But what if they were the ones truly in charge, and the bandits mere pawns? Yeah, there was one real piece of work. Kranya, I think who managed to escape. Now, I've seen all kinds of people as a mercenary, and she was definitely not your everyday bandit. You're on the right path. Perhaps I should just tell you who kidnapped me, seeing as I already know. What? Why didn't you mention this earlier? Everyone was busy speculating, so it was difficult to cut in. What do you know, child? Out with it. Well... The one who kidnapped me was Tomas the Librarian. I'm certain of it. I could tell from his gait, and how he held his staff. I suppose he isn't the simple scholar you think he is. Tomas? Impossible! But Tomas has been at Garrick Mach even longer than I have. I don't want to believe it, but... 
Based on what you say, we've no choice but to investigate. But, Sir Alois... Be on guard. If Tomas is in league with Kranya, he is dangerous. Very well. I will quietly report the matter to Lady Rhea and leave the decision in her hands. Not a word of this to anyone. Is that clear? Well, now things are getting interesting. Honestly, did not see this coming. So what do you make of this Kranya? Why do you think she was at the fortress? You seemed preoccupied with her during the battle. Is she a friend of yours? Sadly, I wouldn't know. My memory is but a shadow at this point. Gone! Vanished! Lost! I remember meeting you, but before that, nothing at all. And yet, the moment I saw her, I was struck with the most inexplicable feeling. I couldn't tell you if it was revulsion or affection. It was simply pure emotion. And here I thought I had it tough. Are you worried about me? How adorable! Oh, but I do love that about you. And so, the Knights have been ordered to apprehend Tomas. As it happens, he's been absent from Garrick Mark for the last several days. They are using this opportunity to prepare quietly, and intend to seize him upon his return. Hard to believe someone within the monastery was working against us. It's shocking, yes, but we have testimony from the very person he abducted, not to mention all the other evidence they found. No surprise they want to bring the guy in. This could be our only chance to find out about his co-conspirators. So who is this Tomas guy anyway? You say he works in the library? He used to help me track down all manner of obscure books. I always thought he was just a kind old man. Tomas is the last person I picture as a murderous kidnapper. I asked around, and it seems he's been in his current position for over 40 years. Why he choose to lash out at the church now is beyond me. Maybe his feelings aren't new. There could have been troubling signs for a while that we aren't aware of. Even if that's true, what is the point of kidnapping a student? Ransom, maybe? The kidnapped student is from an Imperial house. Or maybe he wants to tarnish the church's reputation. Well, look at you reasoning things out. Your new friends must be rubbing off on you. Your Highness, did this man hire the bandits that attacked you in the mountains? That's what I'm told, but I've yet to confirm it. There is evidence that seems to link them. I don't know about you, but I'm going to feel a lot less safe after this. You're not alone. Rumors are flying around the monastery about who else might be a traitor. You'd think the church would do a better job vetting the people they employ. Maybe it's not so easy to... Hey, do you hear that? Something's happening outside. Are they ready at the gates? Yes, sir. Every exit is covered. Well, well. It sounds like Tomas has returned. I don't know why I know this, but you need to get out there, and quickly! I think he's here. I'll be back. Shouldn't we take a moment to... Very well. We'll be right behind you. Lady Rhea wants to speak with you. I suggest you accept. <laughs> this doddering persona of mine will benefit me no further. What is this?
Just like 